welcome back to another video i'm lindy black and if you're new to this channel please don't hesitate click the subscribe button so that you can officially join the black family and if you're a returning subscriber I'm, i just want to say shout out to you and thank you so much for tuning in into another video i just want to quickly say thank you so much guys for the 2k subscribers thank you so much yeah yeah <laughs> thank you so much for the 2k subscribers it means a lot to me it shows me that you guys actually appreciate me giving you my experiences with you know in this journey of life which has been a roller coaster for me so story time this story time happened when i was still in grade which grade was i in grade 11 no, no, I was in grade 10. Yeah, I was in grade 10. So I had this friend in grade 10. We we're cool, you know, we've been friends. We've been school friends, actually. We've been school friends because we lived in different areas. Not too far from each other, but like separate areas. So I, I've been friend, friends with this girl. Um, she was also my desk, desk mate. Everything was fine. Everything was nice. So what happened is that... Okay, let me give my friend a name. Okay, let me call her Pumzile. Yeah. Let me call her Pumzile. So, shall <laughs> So, anyway, me and Pumzile, we were friends, we were school friends. We were just chilled. Everything was fine. But now, Pumzile started experiencing headaches, right, lately. She started experiencing headaches, like heavily headaches. She would take about four grandpas a day literally four um she take two at school one before she comes to school one when she gets home or before she she sleeps because she would constantly tell me that you know what i'm struggling with this headache i went to see a doctor they prescribed medication don't 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 but nothing seems to be easing the headaches you understand so um the only thing that i could literally subscribe to that is actually working for me was to just take grandpas but it was like a temporary solution because she would cool off obviously after drinking that grandpa for like a couple of few hours and then the pain would come back again the headache would come back again which yeah you know she just had temporary solutions and she literally um she just didn't play around them she took them she just she was drinking grandpa and at that time, I did feel like that is not okay for her. You can't be drinking. But anyway, what was she going to do? You understand? She was supposed to stick to stick to something that actually helps her because she has to be at school. She has to be, you know, focused, not disturbed. And this were one of the most important years um in her life or in in her school life you understand um her headaches just kept on going it was now a part of her life you understand it was now part of her life everything was just everything was just like that ne? so what happened is that okay wait let me let me let me let me lungisa this let me say this never have i ever thought it's possible for one to accumulate accumulate somebody's bad spirit or somebody's bad stuff spiritual stuff yeah because hey, that one seemed seemed like a spiritual you know mm -mm, war so yeah uh, uh. Oh, fine this one fateful day right we had sports day with sports day we had to change from our uniform to like casual clothes fine it was okay we changed into our casual clothes everything was fine mm. everything was okay and then what happened that day when i got home after school when i got home is that i started noticing that my friend upumzile she left her hat like a school hat a uniform hat we had green hats um yeah yeah like a hat a school hat but yeah she forgot her school hurt in yo man get the hurt school head yeah head h a t okay anyways yeah she for i noticed you would oh okay she forgot her school hurt in my 
in my bag about and so i'm like oh okay i'll just give it to her in the morning but also what actually triggered me at that point that i actually started questioning that i actually started questioning was that i actually started questioning myself on was that how did it get into my bag well i know sometimes we do put each other stuff in you know whichever bag is close is the closest especially if like you're you're in a rush or you know you just want to quickly douche and then obviously you'll be like hey i actually put something on your bag i'll get it later or hey i forgot something in your bag can you please bring it on monday don't take it out you know it's yeah so it wasn't a big of a deal but i did ask myself what type of if i need let the lay but hey it's fine i'll give it to her in the morning in monday morning about fine everything is fine um the weekend goes off i don't t I, we don't talk about the head because to me it's like i'm gonna give it to her so it's not a big deal and besides i'm not the one who took it so oh yeah so keep alive fire corner because i'm so anyway it wasn't a big deal um okay the weekend went by and then monday morning right monday morning get some to after i put on my uniform i take the head because i feel like um you know this thing of every weekend your mom wants to wash your school bag yeah it was that type of situation like every time there's laundry that is being done everything that is is in your school bag you need to like take it out so that they could go wash the school bag and you know you just return everything when it's dry when your school bag is now dry and you you just pack everything in it so i had already took it off on saturday and then i just figured we could see since i was packing my books and sorting them out because it's not like i was taking the same classes that i was taking on a friday the schedule or the timetable it shifts you understand and we didn't have homework so it wasn't too much of a big of a deal it wasn't yeah too much of an issue this thing of me packing my books on a monday morning before i leave for school so sharp monday morning i pack my books and i see the head so i'm like mm -mm. It's on top of my bed. So I'm like, mm, before I forget it, let me not put it in my bag. Let me just, let me just wear it so that I don't even forget when I get to school. I'm like, yo, listen, I have your head. I got it. Oh, wait. Sorry. I'm like, I don't want to forget about the head because if I leave it in my bag and she doesn't remember that, oh, goodness, go sack. Her head is my is in my bag and she has to get it and I also forget. It means I'll go back with the head at home. And what if I lose the head? You, you guys understand. I lost my my tie and also my my own head so many times at school on my way home. So uh, like I said, I'm very clumsy. I'm very 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 clumsy. So losing things, it it's a norm to me. But I don't lose money. Funny enough. So sharp i wear it in the morning and then i'm preparing to leave and then yeah finally i go to school right i get to school everything is fine but the bell rings you know we start our first class and now uh -uh, this girl is not at school what is happening this girl didn't come to school so it means i have to i have to go home with her head about so i'm like uh -uh, no ahala now you know she's not at school what is it that i can do it's not like she lives in my area and i could literally just go to her house after school and say i'm hi but no i can't do that unfortunately i don't have the luxury of time to do that and also i don't have money to travel to go do that and it wasn't a big deal like i keep on i, I literally keep on emphasizing good see it wasn't such a big deal the fact that can at least go Sahara in my bag, I have her head in me. Like, I literally have it in my bag or in my head, wherever it is. It wasn't such a big deal. She was still going to get it if she needed it or if she was at school. Do you understand? So, sharp. Monday after school, Kahaye. Um, I go home, right? I go home, Kahaye. Remember, I was wearing the head the entire day. When I get home, man, I start having, you know, those mini headaches. You get that a one two ish uvele ut ish i maybe i didn't drink enough water today i drank water i said you maybe i didn't drink enough water today because it just came once do you understand i was like you and i said ah, maybe i didn't drink enough water do you understand i drank water i think i i drank like two glasses of water straight after that headache and then i 
it was gone so i was like i right, probably it was the heat plus the fact that i didn't drink water i was i almost said i was dry hi boo where <laughs> lindy <laughs> no i was thirsty i figured because i'm slept by i'm dehydrated or oh, just super thirsty so i find I go to sleep. Obviously, I do the things that I have to do for the if for the afternoon and evening, and then oh, I write my homeworks, and then I text her right because we had Facebook. I didn't have WhatsApp at that time. Um, I don't know why. And then I just texted her on Facebook. I was like, um, hi, baby girl. Listen, you forgot your head. Do you understand? And also, we have an assignment that um our LO teacher gave us um it's due next week uh da, 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 da. we also have homework yeah mate you know because i feel that like she's coming to school tomorrow i was like we have uh math homework and i sent her the the page because we had textbooks on which page which activity if she wants me to explain to her i can explain to her if she doesn't understand the homework do you understand so she didn't respond to the text or also she wasn't active because when i checked on facebook the but again, is it the last scene? Okay, the last scene was around the AMs of that day. So it was like, boom, 18 hours. 18 hours ago. Yeah, it was like 18 hours ago or 19 hours ago. She was last online around that time or active around that time, like 18, 19 hours ago. So I was like, I didn't think much of the situation. I was like, ah, maybe, I don't know. I didn't know I could go off, you know, social sometimes. I do go off social sometimes. It's not a big deal. So fine. Didn't think much of it. I slept. Guys, when I tell you that I woke up around 2 to 3 a.m., headaches didn't get on. I had massive headaches. I couldn't sleep. I did try to go drink water. Luckily, there is this cupboard at, at, at my house. It has like pills. Like the, um, you know the counter pills that you guys buy? Like body sprini, or again, asprini, panado. You know those medicines that, uh, the, the medicine that is not like too, kind too dangerous in a way like is i don't know how to explain it but you know that's safe medicine that you buy by the counter oh yeah the medicine that you don't necessarily need um bargain a prescription for yeah those kind of medicine. yeah this medicine that you get man you get me right yes so i find it, there was that cupboard at home i just went there i took um there was grandpa and the spring. So I took it to sprint because oh there was also compral. I took it to sprint because um I I just preferred the spring over this other medicine. Fine, I, I drank it to spring. Everything was fine, right? I drank my disprini and I went I went back to sleep. I didn't pray. <laughs> I went back to sleep, right? Went back to sleep, I woke up again around five. That is my time to wake up, eh? Hey, but now what woke me? It wasn't my alarm, no, my consciousness. Or oh, I just didn't just wake up on my own and just figure that, oh, I need to get ready for school. No, the headache started kicking. Now it felt like people were shining drums in my head, and it it wasn't a nice thing. It was so painful. Do you understand? So ha ah, sana, I couldn't. My pain tolerance is not that. That's why I don't have a piercing. Okay. I have a piercing. This one was forced. This one was forced. You know this thing of parents giving us piercings? Um, yeah. But anyway, I'm grateful I do have them. But that's why I don't have any other piercings or tattoos. I've been I've been contemplating that, oh, I wanna go get a tattoo or get my nose pierced or whatever. But I just can't because I don't really think I can tolerate that much pain, let alone the headache that I was feeling. Yo, So I find I wake up when I wake up, I'm not about to drink another discipline. It's not okay. My mom also told us, you shouldn't overtake this medication. You do, you'll end up overdosing and that's not okay for your health. Now, to me, it just doesn't sound right, the thought of me going back to take a discipline. So what, what did I do? I went there and I was like, oh, since I took a discipline earlier on, maybe it didn't really work. Let me just take a compral. And my mom often 
takes a compral when she has a headache and for her it works almost instantly understand sharp i take the medicine um gibara it's a little after a good 15 minutes i feel okay i feel alive i feel fine i don't feel the headaches anymore sharp i get to school right ah when i get to school i have the head and i wore the head again i get to school when i get to school the friend is not coming again she's not at school there's no sign of her. I asked one of her friends who stays closer to her place. She's like, nah, I haven't seen her. And I haven't went to her house. I didn't call her. Do you understand? I just figured which it's one of those episodes. Do you understand? It's hard. People are lazy. People just make up excuses. Or maybe she's sick. I don't know. I was like, hi, right, man. Can you please check her after school? At least when you're closer to her house. She's like, okay, cool. I'll check her if she's coming to school. Fine. I'm wearing the head the entire day. Yo. Oh. What's period It was too hot or it was me. But the headaches that I got that day, it felt like it felt like a kitty who was stepping on my head or beating me like that. But it was painful. And to other people it felt like ah, this one is ask, is asking for attention, is seeking attention because of how painful the headache was. I was like, ah, oh, guys, no man. And then fine, I got home. When I get home, I tell my mom. I'm like, uh-uh, mama, there's something wrong. I have a headache. I started having my headache, see, from a day ago. And they've been kicking. Even in, like, in the morning, I woke up around 2 because of the headache. And I took, you know, the medicine. I woke, I woke up again. Where? I woke. I woke. I woke up again. Hmm, woke. Wake up. Woke up. Yeah. Why did I put a D there? he i woke up i woke up again and then around five because of the pain the headache and i took another medicine and at school it happened again you know? so my mom is like ah i get to when yo i want to this part i don't know how to say it in english i get to when you tell my sweet probably nyongo because it's something getting so so what she meant is that because it's a change of a season. Hey, my mom said, probably it's because I have the nyongo. Do you understand? Maybe that's why. Yeah, she said, probably because of the change of the season and also the fact that I kept on eating sweets last season. Now they're coming back to haunt me. That's why I'm getting all the headaches. But she was also checking if, am I having like, stomach aches or am i having a running stomach da, da, da. and i just told her no it's strictly the headache and she's like yeah, probably you're not drinking water as well i'm like no it can't be that but okay maybe it's the nyongo do you understand guys i don't know what is the nyongo i don't wanna i just know it's a nyongo mm. so i was like she kept on saying nah it's probably the nyongo i know you, do you understand? and i'm there I'm like oh it's not the nyongo. Okay, maybe it's the nyongo. Okay, but that, how do I make them stop? Do you understand? It's like, me lo paid. Huh? At this age, I don't know you paid. Because I'm just guess. I was like, at this age, yeah, oh, mom. I was like, I can't I can't pay it. I was like, okay, fine. I'll buy you the pills. Now, this other pills that they use, I'm a fresh, or in. Yeah, they use for... For cleaning your stomach. I don't know how to say this. If I don't know Brooklax, it's the same thing as Brooklax. They perform, they do the same thing. Do you understand? So my mom was like, it's fine. I'll get you the pills so that you can clean the dead in your tummy or whatever that is in your tummy that is making you get sick. And you understand? It's like, okay, cool, fine. And then Ginga. And she gave oh, she gave my little brother money to go buy me the pills. Fine, she um he came back with the pills, I drank them. And then yes, um after probably like three to four hours, I started running to the toilet. Yeah. It it literally I felt like there was nothing. I felt like at some point I'll poop my intestines and my livers because at some point I felt like my heart is dropping like go. Because of the, yo, because of how fast I was running to the toilet, like I went there so many times. So I find, 
um i probably visited the toilet for like a very good three hours in like 30 minutes i went there for five times i don't know but yeah Hona, it did clean my stomach it did clean my stomach i'm not gonna lie now back to the yeah to the twist or whatever so now my friend hasn't been to school for two days i've been wanting to give her her head for two days now i'm not thinking anything about the head or what 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 now i'm concerned right so i'm having headaches and i also have the nyongo right but now the nyongo is getting sorted which means i won't have the headaches anymore now my one and only worry is the what is my friend because why she's missing out so now my worry is that term three we are literally about to write exams test actually test and preparing for exams for term three so i was a little bit concerned about her not being in school now it wasn't about the head anymore so sharp i okay wednesday i get to school guess I, i'm still wearing her head i get to school this girl is not at school she is literally not at school when i ask her friend her friend tells me that now nah, i went to her house her mother wouldn't let me go see her but she told she told she told label now label is the friend that i asked to go to i'll check out so she told label that she told label that um she's sick yeah well she doesn't want her to see anyone she's just too sick to be around people just so i was like oh okay probably that's like a valid valid you know reason for her not to be at school um for so many days Shut. it went on went on with my dad guys when i tell you that my those mild heavily headaches started hitting me so hard that so i literally had to go home literally same minute when it started i couldn't handle it i felt like i was going nuts i felt like somebody was my brain i felt like my brain was getting by someone and it was so painful so um they had to one of the teachers had to take me home because yeah like they called my mom like my mom was at home and he took me home when i got home when we got home um, my mom started seeing what I was telling her, Uguti, nah, actually, it's, it's, it's serious, and it's not what I actually thought it was, not, it's literally not the Nyongo, because this person drank the thinging, and she literally cleaned up her stomach the entire day, the entire night, actually, entire after school, the entire afternoon and the evening, and she ate, um, in the morning, so I'd say probably she was hungry, no this person has she's literally clean do you understand there's nothing that i could literally think about um coming about being a cause do you understand so because now my mom is an african mother um self-diagnosing um she likes it i don't know why she likes acting like a doctor and she's not a doctor but i feel like because we are african and um I don't know, I guess we are gifted in the eye to see, to foresee events or to foresee sicknesses. Well, sometimes we get it wrong, but sometimes we get it right. So she likes like, self-diagnosing. Now, she was diagnosing me. She's thinking that, yeah, Ohamba cool. it's the sun. It can't be the sun. I was, driving, I was crazy. Now I was crazy because the uh, were too much. Now, around about that time, right my mom calls my uncle and now if you've been listening to my story times you know when i say my uncle when i speak about my uncle i literally have one uncle is it one from my mother's side is one uncle mm -mm. is it one yeah i mean there are two but the other one you know so i'm talking about the one i have one uncle the other one yeah he's my uncle but now it's not it's not it's not it's not that close of a relationship, but there's this one special uncle. Um, my mom calls the uncle. Um, he tells him what is going on because normally headaches are not an issue if you have like medication. Do you understand? And they've never been in an, like they've never been an issue in my family. Eh, after calling my uncle, my uncle was like, "You know what? I was about to call you." It's like I was about to call you because it's something that I'm feeling that is happening in your house. 
and he was like, oh, my Malindi. And my mom was like, I was actually calling about her also because this is what's happening. She's experiencing this massive headaches. That don't, don't, don't. My uncle was like, give me a minute. I'll call you back. Right? Mm. I, a good six to seven minutes passes and then he calls back. He's like, ask her what, I don't know how to, how do I phrase it? I want this translation thing to English. Ish. Ask her what she took. That doesn't belong to her. Mm -mm. Let me see. Doesn't make sense. Okay. Yeah. He literally asked that. Could see. Ask her. What is it that she took. That doesn't belong to her. So I was like. Hi, me. I'm not a thief. I'm telling my mom. Hey, me, I'm not a thief. So. I didn't take anything. And it's been long. Like literally. It's been. It's been so long. Um, I've even. Had to take anything. From my mother's purse. From I'm a sweet and I'm a chappy, you see, and coins. I haven't done that in a while. And now I'm confused with Haibo. What is it that I did? What is it that I did? I didn't take anyone, anything that belongs to anyone. I was like, no, I didn't take anything. Do you understand? Because I'm not a thief. Do you understand? And my mom was like, are you sure? When? Are you sure? Because you will die. You'll die because if you lie to us, we can't help you. <clears throat> now I'm starting to think. I was like, no, I didn't take anything. So, my uncle, because he's also listening, but he's not on loudspeaker. He's speaking to my mom, but he's, he, got, he can also hear what I'm saying. And then now, he says to my mom, ask her again. Because she took something that belongs to someone close to her. Now I'm thinking, who's close to me? How everyone at, in my class is close to me. Every friend of mine at home is close to me. I have six siblings, including my mom. Those are close to me. Do I take stuff from my brothers? Yes. Because, yeah, yeah I do take stuff. Clothes, especially. Food. I'm now trying to think deeper. My uncle was like, since she doesn't remember, remind her about her friend. I'm like, friend. So now my brain comes back. Goes, ah, I have somebody's head. Do you understand? And my uncle is like, yeah, you see that head? You've been wearing it every day and get ever since you got it. I'm like, yeah, I've been wearing it. It's like, you took something that you were not supposed to take. And worse, you wore it. So what you did was accumulating the things that you were not supposed to accumulate because they were not for you. Were not because you invited them in your body. That's why now you're suffering. Eh, I was like, and now I started remembering what's no man. Actually, oh baby girl, the girl, my friend, Pumzile. I remember that she was also suffering from the same headaches. Like, she's been suffering from the same headaches. But now I start telling mama, actually, now it makes sense, mama, if... What we are actually saying is that I took a born like man just in case. If we are saying that I took Pumzile's hat and it's actually the cause of the headaches because I've also been wearing it. If that's the reason, then it's not her fault also because she has also been suffering from the same thing. About now I tell them she's also she's been complaining about the same pains, taking on my grandpa for in a day, probably more than four to five to six. I don't know. I'm not sure to understand. She's been complaining. And she hasn't been to school, actually, for the past three days. Because I wanted to return. But it's going to go. Now, I tell my story, let's go. It landed in my bag. I'm sure she put it in my bag. To understand? Because we had um sports day that day. About No, my uncle understands. Because he knows we see... I didn't steal it. I don't know how, but he was, you know, he was, I don't know, he sounded so sure. He was like, no, relax. I know you didn't steal it. It's fine. You just took it. Do you understand? And when I was gone, you wore it. I'm not saying you stole it. Do you understand? So I'm like, oh, okay. Because I don't want the, mis the misunderstanding of having to deal with my mom later. Explaining that, oh, this tata I've been away. Do you know my mom? Do, do you know my mom? Eh. So fine. After that, my uncle tells my mom what to do, right? What to do? I to touch it twice. El chrof, rabo. Touch it twice. El chrof. Atlangan senanani. Atlangan senanani. Gigezengal. Mangretang tandas. You know, 
so i did that after doing that everything just went away you know everything went away i think also later that day i got a text from my friend uh Upunzil. she was like um hi i've been you know i've been offline for a very long time i wasn't okay but i'm coming to school tomorrow just there i'm coming to school tomorrow she was also asking about um if we do have homeworks um that are due for thursday yeah, well, thursday was the next day and i tell her that yeah we got accounting we we got two um activities to do for accounting and we also have like a, a presentation no a prepared speech but the teacher hasn't said what he when is it due but i think it's going to be due somewhere next week you understand but she also gave us like a set of topics to choose from i sent her screenshots no we just had a we had to catch up because i couldn't say everything through a text i had to literally look her in the eyes and tell her that Ntama, na, I wore your your head and I came to school thinking that I'm going to give it to you and I've been suffering massive headaches lately. Do you understand? So I don't understand what's going on. I got help. Since now you were suffering from the same thing, I think you should do what I did. Or you should, I don't know, go see who and, and find help because you're going to die. Ma'am, I felt this headache, headaches for like a few days. When I've been feeling them for months, my sister, you're gonna die. You understand? So after that time, um, I never ever took anyone's stuff. Literally, I don't wanna associate myself with people's stuff. You understand? Because now I had an understanding that, what is those abantu? How many mtalo ya kon? You understand? There's no way you could detach the spiritual thinking ya kon the same thing as uthathi imali yabantu iphuma neyinyembezi uhamba nale mthwalo yo guys i can't so that is the lesson that I, that i actually learned from that situation that you need to be mindful of the things that you take and you just put on your body same goes with the jewelry the necklace everything man that doesn't belong to you don't just take people's stuff and wear especially clothes especially girls we like doing those things because they seem so harmless, not knowing that we're inviting spirits, we're inviting this, you know, a lot of things that we don't even understand ourselves, understand? We're innocently doing things, not knowing that, hey, we are putting our own spiritual lives um, at risk, we're putting our lives at risk, and yeah... Yeah, that is actually the lesson that I learned and I felt like I need to pass it to other people They had always be mindful Sometimes you know really your friend's fault or whoever's fault where you took that jewelry on don't don from maybe now, but they are not even aware of the Sorry Oof. Of the negative energies they actually possess or they actually have to understand So please be mindful. Don't forget to pray you know, beyond everything, even if, like, you borrowed somebody's t-shirt, pray in fun, pray, 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 yeah, I don't know, pray away those things in case you go along to Abantu. No, Abantu, also that one. You can carry stuff. Because I did my little digging, and I found out would see everything, literally, even stepping in a place where you're not supposed to be at. You can literally leave that place with things that you didn't come come uh, come with yeah things that you didn't come with i'm not talking about like materialistic things or physical things i'm speaking about spiritual things that's why also it's so important to always guard your environment it is so important some of you you never knew what depression was until you associated yourself with this particular person and all of the sudden when now you are struggling with depression which is something that is so you know not you not for you you understand so stay blessed and don't forget to pray and also thank you thank you so much for watching my story time and thank you so much for making me feel so good by watching liking and commenting to my story time don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoyed the story time and also if you didn't enjoy the story time thumbs up for my beauty mm-hmm <laughs> thumbs up for you know watching this video just give it in child give it in thumbs up for watching this video just put it it's click click that like yes thank you thank you so much and 
if you haven't subscribed please click the subscribe button it it would really mean a lot to me um and please do comment tell me what what are the things that you enjoy doing while watching story times it can be any story time my story times or your one of your favorite story times just tell me what is it that you enjoy doing while watching story times because i know that i enjoy eating a lot especially when i'm watching a story time i enjoy eating it just makes the whole experience nice or if i'm doing dishes from cleaning i know that oh i have this background interesting you know story time that is unfolding so you know what thank you so much for watching i'll see you again um and next time on the next video thank you bye